We are all nice and quiet across much of the arc of this region, not tracking anything on satellite radar across our area. The nearest clouds to us are mainly in portions of Alabama, East Tennessee, up around Knoxville and Chattanooga, but nice clean sweep across much of the southeastern part of the country. We do have a wind advisory right now in portions of Oklahoma, portions of Texas, where some wind gusts are up to 30, 40 miles per hour. Now, we're not expecting any wind gusts that high here in the Delta, but we could see some breezy conditions up to 15 and maybe even 20 miles per hour. Right now, it's 65 degrees right now, just out the door. Winds, fortunately here in Greenville, they're not even blowing right now. Much of the air is currently in the mid-60s from 63 in Greenwood, 63 also in Clarksdale, 64 in Vicksburg. It's 63 over in El Dorado, but it's a little bit cooler on the eastern side of I-55, 59 right now for Winona, and it's 60 down in Jackson. Now, as you're heading out the door, we're expecting nice conditions will be, will be mild. we will have a few clouds in the sky around 7 o'clock. We'll be warming up to the lower 80s by noon with plenty of sunshine. So if you're going to be out and about, it's going to be a great day if you have any gardening plans. But it will be warm as daytime highs will be mostly in the mid-80s. We'll see 85 from McGee, Lake Village, Arkansas, 83 down in Lake Providence, 83 and 84. Kind of a common number across the area, 85 for Kelton. And we'll see 85 for Kosciuszko. Now, as we go into the weekend, it's not going to be until Sunday when we'll start to see the return of some showers and some thunderstorms with the bulk of the activity coming in on Monday. And we could see some lingering activity on Tuesday. But as we go into the mid part of next week, expect a mostly dry conditions as we end next week. So for the weekend, if you have any weekend plans, Saturday, maybe you're heading out to the fair. It's going to be a great day. We'll be breezy and warm. We'll reach a high of 84 for both days. But on Sunday, we'll start to see those return of showers and thunderstorms, mainly going into the afternoon hours. Now looking at Future Tracker, winds will be mostly out of the south for much of today. Expect a mostly clear conditions. We'll see some clouds move in in portions of northern Louisiana, southern Arkansas. They'll start to increase out in portions of the Arc Latex region. We'll see some at clouds down in the south delta around Saturday, uh, Saturday around 12 o'clock. Expecting mostly nice and clear conditions. Now going ahead into Sunday, we will have a frontal system that will develop in portions of uh, Oklahoma and Arkansas around Sunday at 1 o'clock. We'll start to see a few showers, maybe even a rumble of thunder. We won't expect a whole lot. Clouds will be mostly broken across the area. But as we go later into Sunday and going into Monday, that frontal system will approach our area, bringing with it some potential for some severe storms going into portions of Arkansas. Not expecting anything severe here in the Delta, but we will pick up on showers and thunderstorms around Monday evening, 4, 5, 6 o'clock as that frontal system will pass us on by. Now, good news is once we get past Monday, Expecting a dry pattern for the 6 to 10 day outlook across much of our area, much of the southeastern part of the country, stretching up to about up towards the Michigan, Ohio, portions of Pennsylvania and up into New York. Now tonight we're expecting a low of 61 to be mostly clear. It wants to be out of the south about 15 miles per hour for tonight in the extended forecast. Again, once we get past Sunday and Monday, temperatures, they're going to be cooling down to the lower 70s for daytime highs. And we'll see some overnight lows reach the upper 40s by Tuesday night. But the temperatures, they'll be warming back up to the upper 70s with plenty of sunshine as we go into the mid part of next week.